Stay with me. We got pulled over for a busted tail light in the back. And the police just, he's, he's, he's covered. He they killed my boyfriend. He's licensed. He's carried to, he's licensed to carry. He was trying to get out his ID and his wallet out his, um, pocket. And he let the officer know that he was, re he had a firearm and he was reaching for his wallet. And the officer just shot him in his arm. We're waiting Man, for a back. I will, sir. No worries. I will. Fuck. He just shot his arm off. We got pulled yeah. over on Larpener. I told him not to reach for it. I told him to get his hand off it. He had, you told him to get his ID, sir, and his driver's license. Oh, my God. Please don't tell me he's dead. Please don't tell me my boyfriend just went like that. Keep your hands where they are, please. Yes, I will, sir. I'll keep my hands where they are. Please don't tell me this, Lord. Please, Jesus, don't tell me. No. They're taking innocent people away from their families. Yeah. They're taking innocent people off the streets. And it's not okay. It's not okay. They tampered with evidence. They took me off the scene. I was not allowed to talk to anybody. And up until 5 o'clock this morning when they dropped wow. me off on my doorstep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Is that right? 5 o'clock this morning. They dropped me off on my doorstep. But they've been saying she's been they released. Said she's been released. Yeah. They said I, I was not released. I, I was not released. My name is Diamond Reynolds and I have not been released. I was not released till 5 o'clock this morning. When I arrived at my house with two squad cars. Where did they have you at? They had us in Roseville. At the precinct in Roseville. From right where it happened at. Right around the corner from my house. In Falcon Heights precinct is where we was. They separated my daughter from me. They didn't feed us. And they tried to place the blame like it was something we did. Every Probably not. Okay, so we are live with um, an amazing individual. I have so many questions. Um, I know you probably have questions as well that we weren't able to get to on air. Um, we had so many callers that we weren't able to get to on air. I do apologize, but uh, nonetheless, um, he mock. You have a mohawk why do you have a mohawk and what is a mohawk and what does it mean <laughs> babcock it's um i'm at war i'm at war and for my people it's only worn during war so it's not a mohawk it's a well that's what it's called up here in the algonquin territory in the southern region is babcock Bobcock. Mm -hmm. A cock is a cock, a fowl, a bird. I didn't even think about that. Mm -hmm. I didn't even think, and it means that you are at war. Yes. And right but, now you are at war with who? At war with the institution, with the United States federal government concerning tribal people. So uh, a conversation that you and I had off air, and um, it also echoed with, um, I have the hardest time pronouncing his name. Wom Wampa Mequin. Wampa Mequin. Yes. Um, about indigenous peoples being killed in Brazil, indigenous peoples being slaughtered all over the world. What does NAAIP do for those indigenous persons? This is the first year that we've actually began entertaining working with indigenous groups in other countries and the initial phase of what we're doing involves their developing their trust relationships with those countries mm -hmm. uh, as i was explaining to you upstairs concerning the tribal trust charter we've established trust charters for brazil colombia south america for the Dominican Republic, for Puerto Rico, and we're working on uh, Ethiopia right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so those people in those other places, we are working with the United Nations to actually implement the United Nations Indigenous Peoples Policy um, 
in those countries because we have we've learned a few techniques about implementing the policies um, and because we are the premier institution in the United States implementing policy the United Nations has taken notice of the things that we're doing so we're actually being pushed into those other countries by the UN mm, that's a beautiful thing yes it is um so as of so I'm not gonna ask who your age but you guys see this beautiful man black I'm don't 57. crack 57 years old and is the founder of N double A I P and I asked this question again and I'm single and, and he's single he, he has adornment on around his neck he's trying to give to a queen <laughs> my question is and I asked this question upstairs Prior to you, who was fighting for this group? Who was fighting? Because when, when you think about the civil rights um, and all those that walked and fought uh, for African Americans, who fought and, and, and protested on behalf of the Aboriginal? No one. No one. Prior to you? No one. No one. non-existent the internet brought about massive changes it brought me to a place where I could study and learn all this information and then go to these institutions and agencies in DC to research and gain more information so did you know as a child that you were a Native American or Aboriginal American in 2009 I um, was working with Turk from the Hot Boys, uh, actually 2007. Turk was arrested for um, uh, allegedly shooting police officers in the city of Memphis. And I was hired by his attorney to um, uh, bring in the media and billboard and I brought in all of the publications and magazines and the police decided um, that they would attack me. So they attacked me and, and uh, kicked my doors in and I began a fight with the police uh, in the courts uh, defending myself and um, didn't know what I was doing and uh, but I continued the process and after actually after uh, uh, the first six weeks of dealing with the courts they they scared the hell out of me so I ran and I I moved from Memphis to Atlanta and I stayed in Atlanta for two years with a warrant but the two years that I was there I studied I studied I studied I stayed on the internet and I studied two years straight and then I went back to Memphis and I filed a lien against the judge that had my case. His wife signed the lien by accident, and the judge dismissed the case. Mm. Um, from that point, um, uh, you were a fugitive I, I, for two I, years. Yes, a fugitive for two years. So, so uh, after that point, um, a few others in the city heard about it, and I was invited to a lecture and shared that information. But even before I, the, the case was dismissed, I was doing lectures there in the city. And police officers were coming to the lectures, knowing that I had a warrant for my arrest, but they would not arrest me mm. um, because I had um, perfected a lien process of leaning the officer's badge and his insurance and taking his gun Hold and up. taking his job. Okay, so this is um, the uncensored version I can cuss. How the fuck you do that? Well, every police officer takes an oath uh, with the insurance company that provides a bond for him to carry his weapon. And if you should file a lien against that bond, with the county, then the officer has to satisfy that lien against him within 45 days, otherwise he loses his insurance.